It's a great pleasure and a great privilege to be here this evening. A little overwhelming, if I might say so, and I'm overwhelmed. Let me just say that on all the years and the varying, varying capacities that I've tried to work in, in India, the most fascinating period of time that I've had is in the automotive area. The automobile business is truly an emotive and a tremendously rewarding uh, business. It has more excitement than any other business I've been involved in. And the greatest pleasure I've had is trying to do something that everybody says could not be done. I'll just share perhaps, perhaps a, a moment in time which I will always cherish. I decided that India could produce its own car. Everybody, my friends overseas in the automobile business, said that this couldn't be done. We had to go through a collaboration to get know-how, get technology. But we undertook to produce this car. It was called the Indica, and we produced it in India, totally of Indian content. As we, as we got close to putting it in the market, uh, my friends in India somewhat distanced themselves from me, otherwise known as distancing yourself from failure. And when the car came out, I suddenly felt that I didn't have a friend in the world and that all the warnings that people had given me were probably going to come true. Well, I think there are many moments uh, that most CEOs or chairmen feel that they're alone. Uh, it's, it's almost an occupational hazard that, that you live with. Uh, where you either can't confide because it's not appropriate or you stand alone against the tide of views or pushes where you don't, don't feel that you need to be compromised. But the car did come out, it did earn a 20% market share and we showed that we could do something. Throughout, throughout the time I've been involved in business, there hasn't been anything that has equaled the excitement, the reward and the exhilaration that the car industry has provided and can provide. It gives, as has been said earlier, an opportunity to test new technologies, new building methods, but above all, it has helped in the transformation of the Indian economy to a mobile economy. Before I sit down, I just thought I'd share with you the experience I had with Jaguar Land Rover when we bought it. We bought it, and that's too long a story, when Ford decided to sell, and my friends sort of distanced themselves from me by saying, what are you going to do with this? Quite frankly, I didn't know. <laughs> and that refrain changed from what are you going to do with this to how stupid could you be to buy this? <laughs> so eventually, my first meeting with the uh, workers at, at Coventry and JLR was a horrible question. What are you going to do with this plant? Are we going to close down some of the plants that we have? We're hardly using the capacity. And I just had no way to say that I knew what we were going to do. So finally, I. I stood up and said, why don't we do this? Why don't we shoulder to shoulder recreate the image that these two brands had and reignite the, the power of those two brands? I'm pleased to say that I did nothing more. It's a great pleasure to be involved in the industry and a very humbling recognition to receive the award that's been bestowed today. I owe this to my colleagues in the company who have transformed this business and I would like to thank the automotive uh, news to the, who put together this award and to say how much I cher cherish the, being included in the Hall of Fame. Thank you so much.